Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. In this lesson, we're going to learn what happens to the statements uh, that we've learned about. So the statement of financial position and the statement of profit or loss. What happens to those statements once they are prepared and they're ready to be published? Now, the reason why I say published is because that's something that's very important and it's directly linked to a particular type of business structure. And the type of business structure, or you would have guessed by now I'm referring to, is a public limited company. So all public limited companies are required to make their financial information public. So publish them, make them available on the internet, and all bu all businesses previously used to make, in fact, they used to pr print books 500, 600 pages long and send them to individual shareholders. Now, of course, because of technology and because of better awareness of the environment, we're able to do that, digi we're able to do that digitally. But still, those statements need to be put together and they need to be converted into what we call the company's annual accounts. And all public, limited, all public limited companies, pardon me, would do that. And one of those is a bank in Pakistan by the name of Habib Bank Limited. And this is what the front page of their annual accounts for the year 2021 look like. Now we're going to go a little bit deeper and look at some of the uh, information that was given by this bank. But from the very first page, there are a couple of things that we need to determine. First of all, they tell us that this is an annual report for 2021. Whenever a business is preparing their annual accounts or their published accounts, whatever you want to call them, they always make them according to the financial year, not the calendar year. Okay, now calendar years we know start from January, they end in December. It's your birthday once a year, that's the happiest day of the year. Everything else doesn't compare. So, so that's a normal calendar year. A financial year, however, works a little bit differently. A financial year will begin on the 1st of July of any year and it will end on the 30th of June of the following year. So currently as we speak, this could be 1st July 22. And when the year ends, this would be 23. So the 12 months between that is what you call a financial year. And that's usually the information contained within any annual accounts. Secondly, how do you trust something that's just on the internet, right? That, that's, that's a problem. So how do you trust anything that's so important? Financial information, people's money, lives, depending on it perhaps. So you need to make sure that the information here is accurate, it's fair, because as an investor, you're putting in your hard-earned money into one of these companies. So before these accounts can be published, all public network companies must get their accounts audited. Now, what does auditing mean? It means getting them checked. Have you done it correctly? Have you been uh, fair? Have you been accurate? So it's all about checking the authenticity of the information that's contained in these annual reports. First thing that's important about auditing to remember is that the company does not do it themselves. Okay, that, that would be pretty weird because it's like give, giving yourselves your own grades and then presenting that report at home and your parents be very happy about it. It's, that's not how that works. So you need to get it audited by a third party. So an outside company, there are a lot of specialist companies like KPMG, Deloitte who provide these services to audit them. And the whole purpose is to make sure they're fair and they're accurate and they meet all the legal requirements. So as long as it is done and, and these auditing companies will actually give their approval on these accounts being prepared by the company and their approvals will be made part of these annual reports. It will be in there on some page. Once this is done, only then can the, publish, then, then the company can go ahead and publish these on the internet or if they want to send it by book, they can do that too. Now, the thing about these annual accounts is that they, they're not just about the financial information. They are very, very detailed works about the entire working of a business. What are the new initiatives? Where is the company going forward? What has happened previously? Everything must be documented and commented on within these annual accounts. And things that might be included in these accounts are the important targets that the company sets itself. 
They are also known as KPIs or Key Performance Indicators. And what that really is, is the company's performance highlights. How are they doing? Have they met their targets? So have the targets been met or not? That's always a big question. And of course, uh, you will have a comparison from year on year to see whether these were met or not. And that's of course something that all businesses will do. Apart from that, you also need to find other comparison points. Perhaps uh, uh, the research amount they're spending, is that comparable to everyone or not? So different target points we can see here, they have targeted that the asset base should be four point, they have reached their asset base of 4.3 trillion uh, they service 27 million customers worldwide. There was uh, uh, 62 billion profit. So these are different targets that they would have met and they want to show them off. Where do they do that? The right platform is their annual accounts. Apart from that, you can also show what CSR initiatives you're taking and they'll be a part in these published accounts by the name of ESG. Economic so E uh, S G is economic social gov governance. That's right. So how well are you governing your business? Are you providing so, uh, social benefits? And are you taking care of the environment or not? And if you are, whatever initiatives you have, you present them in your annual account so that your your company is seen as as positive a light as possible. Because remember, at the end of the day, it's the potential shareholders, your investors who are looking at these accounts. And you want to look your best whenever you're showing yourself to the investors. So Anything that's good, you throw it in the envelope accounts and make sure that you look nice and pretty in it. And lastly, by no means least, and, and in fact, the very reason why these published accounts are made are your statements of profit or loss or your statement of financial position. So that, of course, the financial data is also provided in those annual accounts. So what you really provided is an insight into the business from both the quantitative perspective in the form of numbers and qualitative perspectives in terms of the targets that might have been met, the new initiatives they may have taken, or just the overall uh, outlook of the company. So it's everything that you need as an investor and as a manager, anyone who wants to see how well the business is performing financially, look at the annual accounts. And I hope now you understand how these different statements come together to be useful in the hands of a shareholder.